Um, honestly, what's going through my mind is just excitement. I'm glad that we have a season. I'm glad that it's all working out and we can figure it out. And I'm just trying to enjoy this last season. I mean, it's all seemingly gone by so fast. And I, I really just trying to soak it in, be with my teammates, enjoy my time with them, and, and just enjoy the experience, have a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really more focused on the fun than the marks anymore these days. Um, obviously, it's good to go out and get and get good marks, but I, I really just want to enjoy myself and have lots of lots of fun. And we have a great group of teammates and stuff, and so it's been it's been a good year so far. And I'm excited to see what all the freshmen can do and all my seniors. That I mean, it feel, feels like we've been here an eternity at this point because of the COVID year or whatever. But I'm excited to see what everybody can do and just going out there and enjoying it really is the most important part for me. Already some good marks for, for my, everybody on the team, yourself included. Uh, you, you won the high jump at the first uh, outdoor meet. How good did that feel after so much time away? Oh, it, it felt really good. And actually, right before COVID hit, I, I injured myself. I had some torn ligaments in my ankle and I had to get surgery. So 10 months ago, I was actually in a walking boot. And so to go back out there and, and kind of be like the old me felt really good. And, and as far as my teammates go, geez, I'm just so excited every week for them. And especially the newcomers and all the freshmen, they're out there killing it. And we already have a couple records down, which is awesome, and the women's throws. And it's just exciting every, every week, week in and week out. Yeah, talk about how you're going to build off that performance, both personally and then as a team, as you mentioned, with the records already falling. I mean, you mentioned it, it's just all about being out there and performing, but the marks are good, and how do you build off that uh, through your final spring season? Right. Um, so our, our team is just, we have so much momentum coming into the season. And, I mean, if you exclude myself, I think there's a lot of momentum going around too. And for me personally, I think, I gained so much confidence off of, off of last week and, and watching my teammates succeed as well gives me confidence. I think we got a really good team dynamic where everybody gets excited about everybody and everybody's there cheering everybody on and, and so when somebody puts down a good mark it just hypes up everybody else. And when I had my performance this weekend I had multiple teammates come up to me saying, you got me so hyped, you gave me goosebumps and stuff like that. So and I just tell them I just I, I'll be like go oh, get me hyped come on you you go make a performance that gets me hyped too so I'm really about that dynamic this year and and I think our team as a whole we're we're all just building on our past performances getting PRs and stuff like that and then building off of each other's momentum and stuff like that a, a unique sport in that you you don't get to have home games every weekend or every other weekend yeah. you kind of get one maybe two home meets a year so it's 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 pretty rare for you you got one on Thursday your last one what is it mean to you to, to have that opportunity to compete here? Uh, it's pretty amazing. I'm sure it'll be emotional for me. Um, just five years in the making and it's finally coming to a close. It's crazy. Like, like I said, I'm just trying to enjoy the moment and live in the moment, but I'm sure it'll be emotional and I'm excited. Um, it's good to have home meets and a bunch of my family go to come and stuff like that too. And and be a part of my senior day experience, which will be awesome. And I'm, I'm just excited just for the last home meet and gonna show up and just be in the moment 100% of the time. Yeah, it's a quick turnaround for us. We had meet on Saturday and Sunday and you know, looking forward to having some good teams here in town. We got um, you know, several of the Frontier Conference schools, We've got Dickinson State coming over too, so it should be good meat and really, really good weather. You saw a couple more really good marks for your team in the, its second outdoor meet of the season. What were some things to build on uh, from the performance on Sunday? Yeah, that's where I think our jumpers did a really good job on Sunday. Um, Isaiah clearing two meters. Um, it seems like each week, each day, he gains a little bit more confidence after having uh, surgery last year and kind of coming back from that injury. Um, and then like Bryce and Kendall both had really, really good jumps and triple jump. Um, you know, the personal best from them, even including high school marks and stuff. And then, you know, really impressed with like Kendall being a freshman, uh, scratching her first two jumps and then pulling out a 36 foot jump to make finals. And then, um, then ultimately having her best jump on her sixth and final attempt of the day.
Uh, you mentioned in the preview last week you were excited for the distance runners, a chance to run that first steeplechase and some good marks there. Carson Jessup, a couple good marks. Kaylee Stoppel, another good mark. Talk about the distance crew. Yeah, um, really happy with everything they've been doing this year. Uh, Kaylee, that was actually, I think, a PR for her and she soloed that race, so ran it by herself. So it's only going to get better from there. Um, same thing with Carson, like, first race out of the gate, he's only like 10 seconds off his best. So really excited to see them continue to run, but then we had like um, Allie Whitmer with another PR in the 1500, uh, Ace and Logan both PR in the 5K, so it'll be fun to see them. I think most of them are going to be racing uh, the 1500 this coming weekend and maybe the 800, so it'll be fun to see them hopefully lay down a little bit faster metric mile time. Obviously you hope to keep building each week, each meet that you have. So where are you at at this point when you focus on this meet? What's the next step to take some things you want to see the team do this uh, this week? Um, well this week uh, the focus will be, you know, because it's going to be a quick turnaround and um, you know, be in a quicker meet because I think, you know, track events are going to take us like three hours to get done. So we're really going to try and just pick like one or two events to do um, and hopefully do them really well rather than having, you know, three or four events that we do throughout the day. Um, so hopefully we've got some more season best, some more PRs this Thursday. A uh, final home meet for a whole bunch of seniors, just uh, some athletes who have been here four years, five years, even six years, some of them. Uh, talk about that group, why it will be special to honor them on Thursday. Yeah, um, a lot of them you know, have been here since I've been here. Um, so it'll be fun to kind of, you know, put an end to that or kind of a bookend on, on it for them. Um, and then also uh, we'll have a few of our seniors that graduated last year coming back. So it'll be good to see them because we never really got an end to um, their season and stuff like that. It just kind of, you know, was left hanging. So I'm excited to see them. Um, and then also for our seniors uh, graduating this year, um, you know, they've seen this throw program through a lot of different things and improved over the years. So um, excited to watch them compete one more time at home.